Hey friends, welcome to Thorpe Park, the home of fear this year. We're here for Fright Nights 2024. This is the first night of the season. Media previews were last night. They're not kind enough to invite me to that. So this is the first public night, should we say, of Fright Nights. Um, we're here, we've got annual passes, so we've obviously bought our annual pass with us. And you've got two types of tickets to experience all the maze. You've got the Terrible Trio and the Fearsome Four, um, and they vary in price. You've got um, the Terrifying Trio starts at £24 per person, and the Fearsome Four package starts at £34 per person. So, if you've got an annual pass, it's not bad value. If you've not, and you've got to pay for a day ticket, kind of adds up pretty quickly um, they do do annual pass discounts on those as well but the timings get a little bit funky and therefore earlier in the day you can't do like the late evening ones uh, and certain things sell out unfortunately so it's just kind of how it is so we've had to pay full regular price for our mazes but we'll take you inside not sure if we can film the mazes if I can amazing if not we'll let you know what our thoughts are after the fact we'll take you through there's four mazes uh, you've got the return in trailers which has been here for what seems like an eternity at this, this point um, you've got survival games which is a bit of a weird one and we'll explain that once we get inside um, you've got stitches which is returning this year and brand new for 2024 you've got deadbeat which is taking over the black mirror labyrinth maze so that'll be interesting i want to see how much they've done to change black mirror to this basically um so if you guys do enjoy the video throughout give thumbs up do appreciate it it really does help us out a lot and it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button the bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos let's go and get our fear on we're through security. We've got this sign up actually, which is really cool. Is your pass valid today? And it talks about all of the annual passes. So everything apart from Discovery is valid. So in addition to those four mazes, you've also got a few scare zones as well. Uh, you've got the Crows of Morgan Meadow that are returning. Uh, you've got Lucifer's Lair as well, and you've got Creature Campus. So we will take you through all of those and show you what we can. Um, what this also means tonight is you have late night riding and maybe Hyperia in the dark. Um, so are we going to get on Hyperia? I'm not sure. Probably not, I wrote it recently. If you wanna go and check out that video, my review of Hyperia, I'll put a link up in the top corner so you guys can go and watch that. We've got our map, we're at the ready. And the first maze we're gonna to go to is Deadbeat. The new one for 2024, do you wanna try that? Yeah. Yeah? It's still light, we wanna to go to an inside one. We do wanna to go to an inside one first. Um, so, our eyes have got a little bit of time to adjust. It's Black Mirror Take Two. Yes, we do want to see how much they've changed it from Black Mirror. Um, hopefully a lot, but we'll see. There we go, Hyperia. Oh, we're running empty. Interesting. So that is one of the big selling points this year for Fright Night that uh, Thought Park are advertising is Hyperia in the dark because the park is open later uh, i believe we're open till nine o'clock tonight that part there is some beautiful airtime because you just slowly go around there but we did have an incident a couple of days ago where the car valleyed just down here so maybe we're still uh experiencing a few issues give you a little bit of an overview of the hyperior area now we've taken most of the uh, temporary queue away and it's just filling up the main queue area show you we've got the uh, wings here which look fantastic we've also taken away the stage down there at the end which is a little bit unfortunate because that was quite a cool addition but we are loaded and we've got guests on the trains now so yeah it looks like we're good to go so our first maze is going to be deadbeat this is the one that is in uh, black mirror labyrinth I have confirmed with a team member I cannot film in the riot, in the maze, so we'll let you know what our thoughts and feelings are after. You've got main entrance, ticket holders to the left, right access and step free entry to the right, the same process as Black Mirror Labyrinth. So, we've got music playing, I think it's gonna be quite beatsy, dead beat. 
we got some beatsy music playing. We've also got Slammer here, which is still fully intact and looking really, really rusty and mank. That's a shame. We need more flat rides here at the uh, Thought Park. Zero minute wait, it said. So here we got uh, the disco happening, the rave, all the party about to happen. The last party on earth. The last party on earth. Okay, so the first maze that we did was Deadbeat. And the story of Deadbeat, brand new for 2024, uh, opening just in time for the ultimate Halloween outing, they said. Right, this terrifying horror maze takes place at a music rave, but not like you've experienced before. Think disorientating music, flashing lights, and demons lurking in the shadows. Will you be dancing to your death? Okay, so we just come out of that, and that was in the Black Mirror Labyrinth uh, maze, I guess, building, yeah. Um, so, of course, you saw Slammer there. Uh, next to it, which again, yeah, still unfortunate that Slammer's not around. But um, what are your thoughts, firstly, coming out? I think the, the sets were good. Like it looked like a proper bar. It had like um, like arcade machines that were like flashing, and the music was good, and it did make you feel like it was like a party. And it was really like, disorientating, is true. Mm -hmm. so it was like you didn't really know which way you were supposed to go a lot of the time. Yeah. And it was really dark in some places. Yeah. But. I personally feel like, like there were some people that were just like white makeup, looked a bit like zombies, a bit blah. And then there was, I didn't know that there was supposed to be demons, but like demons. And but I didn't know in there whether I, there was supposed to be demons or whether there was supposed to be people dressed up, like a cult vibe or what there was supposed to be. And I think that was confusing when yeah. we were in there. So, so one, one of the things, they give you a little bit of a spiel just before you go in and they talk about how like DJ, Anister, or DJ Canisto, or something. <laughs> Isn't that a real DJ? <laughs> might be, might be a real DJ. But the, the DJ has put on this party the last night on Earth. Um, so whilst I'm going through the maze, I'm expecting yeah. to see like a big bad. Like I'm expecting oh, the DJ. Yeah, the DJ. yeah, yeah. Because he had a mask on the DJ. Yeah, he had like, like on the picture. He had like a. Um... It was a bit like like a like the purge or like a yeah. That so kind of vibe. so it looked like one of those like animal masks that you get. Yeah. But like mirrored. You know, like do you know geometric. What I mean? Yeah, yeah, like geometric and it had, mirror. Uh, bunny ears on it. Yeah. So, so I was I was yeah I was expecting it to be a mixture between zombies and that guy. Yeah, I was expecting like us to build up. But that guy wasn't in there at all. No, we didn't see him. Now I he was controlling it from the back. Like yeah. That. Okay. And 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 like Becky said, I think the sets were they were pretty cool. Obviously, it was very different from that. Yeah. They've obviously put a bit. They've put a lot of effort into yeah. it. Yeah. Um, obviously, production value. If you've seen any of anything like Universal's Halloween Horror Nights or something like that, you know this isn't it. But I enjoyed that, and they got me a couple of times. I'm that's, not somebody. I think that's because we went through just the two of us. Yeah, we did go through just the two of us. They are like pulsing you in as a group, and that was nice. That was that was nice because you didn't have nice for me. Maybe not so nice for Becky, but you didn't have somebody like breathing down your neck, yeah. like running into you, trying to get away from the scare actor. You yeah, know, true. so you can really yeah, soak in. I the... think because I was at the back, they were coming up to me behind me, like <laughs> like breathing on my neck. They were doing that, yeah. And, and and there was a lot of touching in there. I got touched a lot. Did you? Yeah. Interesting. A lot of like a bit too much. Oh, yeah, okay. like on my back. So they're not supposed to touch you, no. right? That's part of. I do think rules. when they when they get when they don't get a reaction because actually I think there were a couple of times that I didn't even see them in there. Yeah, because it was a little bit too dark and they and weren't a bit too lit loud. Up. Yeah, and I didn't hear anything. Yeah. So, but the, the the scare actors themselves were. If any of you are watching this, you guys did a fantastic job in there. Um, you were really in character. Yeah. You uh, there was a few times where they were. Considering there was only two of us, they went above and beyond. Yeah, like, and they were like there was little like if you been in a nightclub you know what it's like and you've got little podiums that you dance on and <laughs> what nightclubs are actually like that i don't go to nightclubs that often clearly some kind of other club. um but they were like jumping on that and in like like i'm gonna get you crouching kind of positions and like they were putting in a lot of effort to, yeah, to, to go for the scares. There was one, one bit where a girl like was dancing in front of you and like basically wouldn't let you get through just so that she could have her moment. Yeah. Did you get that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was good. It yeah. was good. I enjoyed it. Would I do it again? Probably not. How much was it per maze? Uh, we've paid 36 or 37 pound for the two of us. So we're talking about nine pound-ish. Yeah. 
I don't know if I'd pay £9. It, it, it's long, to be fair, yeah, but we go, when we, I think because we were on our own, we went through it quite slowly because I love the, like, as you said, other people would rush you through. Yeah, and we like looking at the sets and seeing, like, yeah. that, that's what we like doing. We like seeing wow. the sets inside. So, I did close my eyes a few times. What can you do? What can you do? Go and experience it. It is the new one for 2024. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't necessarily do it again, but our next one is going to be trailers. And that I have done again. And I've done it again. And I've done it again. It's like Groundhog they Day. Do, they do change the. They do change. Films, they though, change yeah. it a little bit. And yeah. it's like the remastered edition or something this year, I think. I'll show you guys in just a second. Again, I can't take you through, but we'll let you know what our thoughts are. Spud and bass. Spud and bass. I thought it was like Spud and bass, which is why I was laughing at you when you said Spud and bass. No, because it's Spud and bass I because of the music. Was, I thought it was, I thought it was like bass as in fish and Spud as in chips, so fish and chips. This is what I have to put up with. This is what I have to put up with. We've got a music maze and she thought it was fish. No, no, we're still trying to find some food because the um, they didn't have the chicken fries that we wanted in Burger King. Chicken fries. So we're going to try and find something. We'll find something. Veggie box, not our thing. So just round by Trailer's Maze, we've got a curly fries section. We've got some standard curly fries, Lucifer's spicy fries, Lucifer's fully loaded fries, beef chilli bowl, beef chilli fries, and soft drinks. £10, not too bad. So we're going to grab the fully loaded fries. So also over next to the curly fries, we've got this devilish pulled pork. So we've got pulled pork brioche, pulled pork rice, and pulled pork nachos. We've also got soft drinks as well. There is no pass holder discount available at any of these. I think we're gonna go for the nachos topped with pulled pork and barbecue sauce. So here are the fully loaded, Lucifer's fully loaded fries. We did ask for normal cheese, not the cheese sauce, but that didn't really happen. Only because they asked us, we weren't being fussy. No, no, that's true. And then they picked the wrong one on. We got salsa, we got sour cream, we got guacamole, cheese sauce, and jalapenos. I've gone for the pulled pork nachos as well. Uh, with cheese sauce, he said to me, do you want cheese sauce on there? I said, yeah, go on then. And it was one pound 50 extra. Oh, I, did not, I did not know that, and he said, oh, oh, oh. We'll go over there and check that out, but that's cool. Yeah, and he said, I did tell you. I'm like, well, I didn't hear it, at least, so. Anyway, nachos with cheese sauce and pulled pork and some onions. And Becky's been demolishing the curly fries whilst I've been queuing for these. So in the map, we've got um, a guide to the live shows. You've got It, the 4D Experience. You've got Creature Campus. Looks Can Kill, which is new for 2024 as well. Um, What's Looks Can Kill? A show. Creature Campus is new for 2024. I think the style of Creature Campus yeah, is new for 2024. Yeah, or the name of it, yeah. Lucifer's main stage. Lucifer and his minions invite you to an evening of live music, nail bite and entertainment, and of course, plenty of fire. So you've got tons of shows on there. You've got the opening ceremony, you've got the live rock band, you've got Lilith's Deadly Sins, Hell's Angels show, and a Hellfire show. And those are on at various points throughout the night. You can obviously see the times there. And then there's, of course, the mazes, deadbeat, trailers, stitches, and survival games. Scare zones here. You've got Lucifer's Lair. You've got the Crows of Morkin Meadow, and you've got Creature Campus. And that is at various points throughout the night. And then Halloween on the Boulevard, let the ghoul times roll. Presented by Fanta, take a spooky stroll down Big Easy Boulevard and soak in the carefree atmosphere, but beware the shimmer and lights conceal a darker side. And then Madame Fant Fantam's Fortune Cabin as well. So next up, we're gonna go and experience trailers. This is back and back and back and back again, but let's see if it's changed this year. So here, Big Easy Boulevard has been kind of spruced up for Fright Nights. So we've got this uh, Fanta scary ball thing here. It actually is like, this is very cool and very creepy. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> now, let's 
been doing that kind of. It's been doing that for a while. The, there you go. Very cool. Photo room. Okay, this is a photo room, yeah? Okay, so Fright, Night, Fate, Wanna Fanta, so does Madame Fantam. They've been waiting for you and for you and your something. Step inside her fortune cabin, but don't forget to bring something. Oh, okay, so yeah, you. It, it looks like just a photo room, basically. Uh, you've also got a beer house over there, but that is closed. And then you've got this really cool hearse here, which is like a bar, just in the central pane here. Also on Big Easy Boulevard, in the Sunset Cinema, you've got IT, which is currently showing. And that is like their 4D sh film, rather than Ready Player One. So at the Hearst Bar, we've got the Pick Your Poisons here. You've got cocktails that are 11.50, and you've got the mocktails, which are 8.50. So you've got Ghostly Green Elixir, and you've got Wicked Witch Brew, and then Haunted Hallow. And then for the um, mocktails, you've got Green Goblin Elixir, you've got Witch's Brew again, and Poison Apple Punch. You've also got soft drinks available as well. So these are all freshly made here as well, which is really nice. Bites. Chubba Chubba Marketing. Bites or tubes. Bites or tubes. Or a cocktail. So down here, outside Stealth, we've got the Creature Campus. <laughs> so over by Stealth, you've got the Creature Campus. You've got the Looks Can Kill show at 3, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30 and 8.30. And then you've got Meet the Creatures Scare Zone at 5.45, ah, 3.45, sorry, four, till 4.15. It's basically every 45 past the hour for half an hour. And they'll come and you can do like photos with them. So you've got the actors, the scare actors out and about, and they're offering you opportunities to take pictures with them, which is really nice. And they, they, they actually look... Oh, yeah. They look good as well. They're dressed up really well. Um, the, the makeup is fantastic. They look like creatures. It is. Makeup's on point. I'll give them that. Trailers. Trailers, trailers, trailers. So you you had trailers back at Fright Nights 21, 22. And then for like Mardi Gras or something, they do trailers like Breakout and Bozos. What else do they do? Like, they do it basically every one, yeah. don't they? The carnival one. So it's really, I don't know. I think it's overdone. What, what, what's your thoughts? Yeah. I think it, it does change, but it's really hard to remember what it was like last year, to be honest. I think it came and came and so it's really hard to remember that. Yeah. But I don't think the sets, I don't think the sets are, are good, really. Compared, especially compared to the Bat Mirror one. I don't know. And I think the story was a bit different as well because I think last year they did like a like a young guy on the counter like serving and then oh my god something's happening but this year it was like a um, like a ghost director yeah yeah and the, the projector room at the end was cool um, but they don't they get the, the sets the sets weren't as good and they don't change enough in my opinion no. they don't change enough in between because it's here basically all year round at the moment. Um, you know, I went through it for the carnival. Becky, I don't believe you came for that, or you didn't, you didn't come for one of them at least. But I've been through that like five times at this point, yeah. and it hasn't changed enough yeah. to to really like make it feel special. But even room to room, I don't think it changes enough. No, the rooms were very bare. The they rooms were, were yeah. very bare. Yeah. Um, and so it, it right. There are walkthroughs online on different channels, so go and check those out if you'd like to see what it looks like. What I'm going to suggest is look at this, trailers at Thought Park, and then look at Slaughter Cinema 2. Slaughter with a S, Cinema with an S as well in this case. Number 2 from Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights. Very, very similar concept of a maze, 
where they're taking you through uh, a snippet of a film and the production value is very different. What? They're not, no, they've made them up. Universal have made up their films. But just the production value looks a little bit better. One thing that I really loved about Slaughter Cinema at Universal, which I mean, I'm disappointed, it does still happen in there to some extent. Universal, before you walk through the film, they announce the film to you, right? So um, there was one, showing, yeah, yeah. there was one Mummy Strippers. So just before you walk through the door, it says it loud, Mummy Strippers. You know what you're walking into, and it's like. Whereas, if, and that doesn't do. They do do that here, but you have to. It's a poster on the wall, they, and you have, got to, poster. you have to look for it. Yeah. And then it's really dark, so it's really hard to see. Yeah. So and, I, and then when everyone's pushing you through. Yeah. So I just think. They need, they need to redo the maze. Right, it's simple like that. It's old at this it point. It almost felt like they were going with ghostly vibes because there was like a bit of dilapidation. Like, oh well, it's ghostly. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, compared to Deadbeat, not great. Um, but, you know, hey, trailers have been around for so long. I'm hoping by next year we get a new one. But who knows? This cocktail is really nice. It is really nice. It is really nice. I don't know if it's too bad, actually. Like 11.50? 11.50. Mm -hmm. I could drink this over and over again. It just tastes like squash. This is the guy who doesn't drink. He always feels like cocktail. Yeah, generally speaking, I don't drink. But when there's a cocktail. Yeah, my cocktail. Right, we're going to go and watch it now in the Sunset uh, Cinema. I don't think we'll be able to film in there, but we'll let you know. Uh, Ready Player One. 4D is just a scene from the film, so I'm expecting this will be very similar. So we're just going into the Sunset Cinema. Uh, Ready Player One is a 12A, It Chapter One is a 15. Uh, this is showing every 30 minutes, so it's not going to be a very long show, basically, probably five, ten minutes. Glasses on. Glasses on. Glasses on. You know, I don't like that they give out these like disposable glasses. Yeah. I wish they were reusable. But uh, yeah, we're in the Sunset Cinema now. Here we go. 4D version of It, Part One or Chapter One, should I say? a lot of our time tonight, so it's really yeah it really eats into your night um, and then we came out and we went and watched um, Preacher Campus looks can kill and that is essentially as you saw it's essentially a dance battle the I do think the dancing was better now than any other we've seen like the, a bit of like lifting yeah the dancing was better choreographed yeah uh, the music like they the set was really good as well, yeah. but like but that's the set they behind. Have a school bus usually, but I don't 
Yeah, yeah, I think they've had a yeah. It's like, right. it's like school vibes there because like that's like a sorority. Yeah, so last year I believe they had two um, oh, tripping. <laughs> it's dark. Um, we're backlit though here. Um, you had like the jocks versus someone else, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's like you, it's like you, like you had like the vampires. Yeah, and they were in like the varsity jackets. Yeah, yeah. Where uh, it was vampires and werewolves last year, yeah, yeah. and this is like sororities this time and vampires. So it's good. Like it was good. I enjoyed it, but obviously time is tight. Time is tight. Yeah. So we're now going to head to. Oh. To get from one show to the next and fit everything in from like five till. Till 10, 10? 5 till 9. Is 10. it only over till 9? Might be over to 10. We'll yeah, see. Whatever. We'll whatever. check in the app. It's very, very short time to get everything done. It is, yeah. You, you aren't, you're not really able to. If you're coming after work, like just after 5, then it's yeah. not really. Maze is doing from, from 3, though, so yeah. you can you, come in. It's different from 3, you're right, but the, we'll, have, we'll see how it is. But the, um, the last one that we haven't done, the choppy one, the Maze choppy one. Toys Stitches. One. Yeah. That one. <laughs> It's got like it's in like a marquee, isn't it? Yeah, so, that's in a sprung tent basically. So yeah. you want to do that? At least you want to get into the dark to do that. Yeah. Because otherwise. We've done that in university before. We've gone into one of those in the light, and it's not. And you can't see anything, right? And well, one, you can't see anything because your eyes haven't adjusted. And two, it's not as scary because, like Becky was about to say, I think the light shines through the top yeah. of the uh, tent, so it ruins the vibe of it. Um, so yeah, we're doing, we're trying to do that one at least in the dark, but we're now on our way to uh, Survival Games, which is over on Swarm Island, I believe. This is something that I really get frustrated about with Merlin and Thorpe and everything. This whole area looks stunning at night, and you never get an opportunity to do night rides, because it's rarely open past five o'clock, six o'clock. In the summer it opens till 8, but obviously it's still, it's still light. Right, Survival Games is down here, next to the toilets. You go sort of backstage, really. You've got the swarm just about to crest over. There we go. How oh, cool. So all of the mazes, there's rules that they can't touch you, at least not intentionally. Survival games is a little bit different. Survival games is supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. They touch you, they grab you, they scream at you. I don't think they do. And it is pretty insane. I don't think they grab you. Let's wait and see how Becky feels after this maze then, shall we? This was queued up last year. Yeah, for ages. We queued yeah. ages last year, and now we're just walking in. Ghostly. All right, survival games. That's the one we just did. Um, My least favorite. Becky's least favorite. This one, they can touch you. They can grab you. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of grabbing. I got hit on the shoulder once. Yeah, and they do get very much in your face, more so than any of the other uh, mazes. That's pretty much what this one going for. And getting lost and like actually like getting lost. Yeah. So I mean there's not a lot of like there's not a lot of scenery in there. Like when I say not a lot of scenery, I mean like basically zero scenery. Uh, it's like like cool to try and send you in the wrong direction. Yeah. There's a couple of arrows that are painted on. You've got actually um, like was it scene one or game one or something? Scene one or level level one, level two, and then it stopped. Uh, or we got lost and didn't see it. But there just wasn't. There's nothing. There's no sets there. There's no scenery. And then right at the end, you got a bunch of chainsaws, and you're like, great. But yeah, it just wasn't. It wasn't anything special. Becky came out of it and was just like, because I like the sets, right? Like. The scares are one thing, obviously. The scares are great, but the sets, the sets are what make it fun. The sets are what make it fun because you you get an experience going through there. There was nothing. It was like 
blank corridors, chain link fences, that was it. Yeah, so it just wasn't anything special. Uh, but we're now in Lucifer's Lair. This is supposed to be a scare zone, but it's very congested. I don't think it really is a scare zone. Oh, there it is. So, the, the scare zone really isn't happening, but we'll take you through it. She likes it! Everyone likes it! Some weird people like the Python leather. I don't think you want to talk about those people. So we just watched the uh, Hellfire show in Lucifer's lair. Um, or dancing. Dancing, yeah, it was just kind of dancing. I think it's like, all of these shows that are on during this, it's like, you wouldn't sit down and just watch it. So it's like, okay, if you're like mingling or walking through or having a drink or whatever, but it's not okay to just sit down and watch because it's just too like, kind of happening. Yeah, it's just trying to be like, Dance, 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 dance. Um, they use a lot. Uh, Hyperia is 125 minutes. And it's 10 past 8. Oh, two hours. I'm imagining if they haven't already, they will be shutting off the queue very soon. Um, pet peeve, small pet peeve of mine is they use all copyrighted music, um, which isn't an issue, but like, this is your premiere event of the year. Like, make something original for it because you're going to be using it for like 20 odd days of the event. And, um, you know, we enjoy the original stuff. Like, yeah. yeah. I think because we're also, another thing that I've noticed this year more than any, well, more than other years, is we're going to the Morkin Meadow thingy now, which is the same as it has always been, I presume. We haven't seen it in a minute. The scare crazy Morkin Meadow, yeah. Yeah. But there are no other scare zones, really. No. There aren't. No, you've got scarecrows. There's a couple of scarecrows walking around. Lucifer's Lair had like four or five people in there. Yeah, uh, but there's only one scare zone. But yeah. Which is not very good. No, 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 not at all. It's a bit, a bit frustrating, but is what it is, right? And the thing, the thing also that we have to consider is that, especially with the, um, the scare zones, is that they're included in the ticket. You don't have to have an extra ticket to do them. Yeah. And you don't have to have, have, to have an extra ticket in. Yeah, so, it's true. Like right. what you can get. Yeah. So, we're over by Saw the Ride, which would be absolutely fantastic in the dark. And we're gonna go through the Scarecrows of Morkin Meadow.
So the final maze we're going to do is Stitches Howl's Toy Emporium. Let's see what this is. This is a returning maze for 2024. I believe it debuted last year. So I'm quite looking forward to this one. It was really good last year. I enjoyed it. Night rides at Thorpe Park. One of the coolest parts about coming to Fright Nights. Uh, unfortunately for us, there's not enough time to do this. We're stuck in this maze. <laughs> I do like the facade of this. I mean, it's just a sprung tent they've themed, but it looks good. Stitches, we took a tour of Howl's Toy Emporium. And uh, I'll hand over to Becky and let us know what you thought. <laughs> what, what on I the thought, spot, on the spot. Uh, I thought it was probably the best one, to be yes. honest. Yeah. I thought it was um, best sets, easiest to follow story, clear rooms, yeah. good makeup. Yeah. 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 There, yeah, there were some really incredible costumes in there. Um, there was a bear which looked like it being like... And probably the easiest costume that was like... Zombified or something. Mostly masks, but... Yeah, it was, it was cool. I think um, there's, there's one particular scene which isn't that accessible, where you have yeah. to crouch. Um, I think there would have been a way through. There, there probably would have been a way through. Um, but everyone, everyone was going at it in there. Every scare actor was doing a really good job the sets were fantastic for that being a sprung ten yeah for that being taken down and put back up each year yeah like it was it was great it and was, like, what you were just saying as well is that all the bases are really long like they take yeah, a long time to go through they do they do we're in there for, we're in there for a good five yeah. five or so minutes and you get, you get a lot for your money yeah not always the greatest but you get a lot for yeah it. each of them each of them has been long uh you know, that one, I just think, if I'm going to rank them, and I will, in the outro, you know, that would be that would be up there. In terms of quality of sets, at the very least, the very first room with the, the, the toy shop entrance yeah. is fantastic. Um, what I do like, to some extent, about uh, Thorpe Park, and I'm not sure if they do it at uh, Alton Towers in the same way, is they give you a little bit of, like, a story beforehand, at least in that one in particular. Um, I think it depends on the maze. And one. they did in um, Deadbeat as well yeah. earlier. You've got a scare actor that is like trying to give you the story, and I don't know if it fully translates sometimes, yeah. but they're trying, and she really set you up. Right? Yeah, but that was that was that was a that was a clear cut scene, and you understand why you're there and why you're listening to. Story, whereas yeah. yeah, like you say, they kind of shoehorn it into other things, don't yeah. they? And yeah, Deadbeat wasn't as good for it, but they did. They did try. They to... did try, but I still was lost. So yeah. It didn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, really, really thoroughly enjoyed that maze. If I, I, I could go through that again and be happy. Yeah. Um, a couple of little bit of confusion with the group we were with got confused and went into the uh, scare actors. I thought it was a bit holes. small. The door. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was very weird. Sure that. Um, but that was kind of. That was on us as well because we were kind of following them. Yeah. Um, and we, having done these things quite often, should have twigged straight away that that isn't. The thing right. is, you don't look up and look around a lot of the time when you're going through those. No, no. Because you just you just trust that they're going the right way. Yeah, exactly. So, right. Uh, yeah. Night rides are happening. Hyperia is still at 120 odd minute wait. I think uh, it was just a second ago. Um, stealth swarm. Stealth's not that long. Um, all no, of, that was five minutes earlier. Yeah, all of the flat rides as well are like no no yeah. weights at all. Um, if the banana boat is your thing, that is a walk on, and there were only two people on it earlier. So hey, pick your poison if you want. <laughs> if you want to do the banana boat rather than stealth or something. Um, but yeah, I mean Hyperia being the latest ride, the, the, you know, and it's on reduced capacity at the moment, so yeah. 120 odd minutes. And to be fair, if it wasn't if it wasn't broken and it had two trains, then it would be it would probably be half, half that. Half, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, like an hour. Maybe no, so yeah. So just coming into the shop to see some of the Fright Nights merchandise. So you've got yourself Fright Nights hoodie, the home of fear, and then on the back of it you've got. Survival Games, Creature Campus, Deadbeat, Lucifer's Lair, Stitches, Trailers, and The Crows. And then, of course, you've got Hyperia there. So um, cute. Ah, yeah, that is cool. How much is that? That is £70. It's also quite thin, which is nice. It's not like... 
and oh, it's got little hand beam. like mittens so you can actually be a toy from the emporium yeah. uh, you've got a scarf here as well uh, watch out, watch out. oh no she's got me with a, <laughs> she's got me with the chainsaw um, yeah the scarf doesn't have a price on it at least that one I saw it doesn't have a price that's actually quite good. You get that one, resting witch face. Twelve pound for the mug. Right, we're gonna go Some of this just doesn't have prices on. It's really annoying. Uh, cap. You've got uh, pins there. Stitches and deadbeat. And then Becky just pointed out this uh, resting witch face one. Here for the booze. Uh, you've got, I'm too old for this sheet. <laughs> and then the Fright Nights one, which has got the Home of Fear. Mm -hmm. Very basic, yeah, that one. Um, you know, if that's what you like, that's not got a price on either. Uh, yeah, I'm imagining it's like, these These are all 24. So I'm imagining that's 24. Um, you've got... Hyperion sign. What are they? Like the like metal cool. wall art, yeah. It's the swarm and stealth. And then that's, I think, I think that's all of the, uh, I think that's all the Fright Nights merch, actually. Alright, that is the end of our time at Thought Park's Fright Nights for 2024. And it was a pretty good night overall. I enjoyed I enjoyed the mazes overall and um, enjoyed experiencing I really enjoyed experiencing stitches. That, yeah. That is And I think it was it was good that there was enough although it was a bit tight for time, mm -hmm. we pretty much filled the evening like perfectly. We, yeah. We've seen all the shows done all the mazes well we well, saw all the shows we did there's we like saw five a, we saw a show on every stage yeah for a short there's like four or five shows or but something we saw as many shows as we wanted to see shall yeah I say. yeah okay i think that's a good assessment um and but i think i think it should go later i yeah. think the event you know we're choosing to leave but then at I, nine ish if, they, if they're going to do it later they need to charge an extra i'd rather they charge us extra to go into the whole thing mm -hmm. And then we don't have to pay extra for the mazes and we get more scare zones. Yeah. That would be my problem. Yeah. So that is a disappointment. The scare zones, the lack thereof, um, there aren't any really. You've got the scarecrows of Morkin Meadows or the crows of Morkin Meadow, it's called. Um, and that's nice. It but... was quite good actually. And I, and I like that they put that structure in there now because when that wasn't there and it was just hay bales and signs. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't so great. But no. I'm glad that they put a little bit of... They put substance into yeah, it at yeah. least. Um, but that that's returning. That's like the fifth year in a row, or yeah. fourth or fifth year in a row. And it is mostly hay bales. Yeah. <laughs> um, so in order, ranking the mazes, ranking the mazes. So starting off at the bottom, in number four, we're going to go, and I think Becky and I agree on our rankings here. Actually, yeah. We're going to go with survival games. Yeah. What? Oh, four. Yeah. Number four. Starting at the yeah, bottom. We're starting at the bottom. All right, Build the, the anticipation the for the video. Yeah. Um, I think you know what our number one is anyway, but um, survival games. There wasn't. There's just nothing. Any, there wasn't any scenery. No scenery. There wasn't really any scares. It was just like. It was just, we're going to conf gonna get, to, get it, turned around. Yeah, and it's just a confrontational thing. That's yeah. it. That's all it is. It is different because they touch you and because they scare you, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not necessarily. Somebody's stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> She's stuck. That sucks. But yeah, there's nothing there's nothing to it. It's not a it's not a good maze. It's simple as that. It's not a good maze. Right, coming in at number three, bear in mind this is out of four, so second to last, is trailers. Yeah. Trailers. Bit samey. Bit samey. It's been around for so long at this point. Um, it did have a couple of like really good sets in there. Yeah, it did. But then it had a lot of 
not very good sets at all. Yeah. So it was like, oh, we've got a couple that are really nice. But it did have a good story. It did have a good story, yeah. Uh, and Traders always has a good story, to be fair. True. Like, it, it always works. I would love if they announced verbally the... Yeah the film the trailer to you as you entered the room so you knew um one thing that universal have mastered fright nights have mastered halloween horror nights and what they do each of the scare actors has a button a foot button or a, or a push button right so just before they're going to scare you they push the button and that activates a trigger or something or like, like a, a noise like or... a sound or yeah. a light a light whatever yeah. right Universal have mastered that and they've been doing it for 30 odd years so Christ like they know what they're doing at this point right here it's very much reliant on the team members and the scare actors kind of just jumping and I think at that's you like why that we had some experiences know. of not seeing the act because I was a few times when I was behind you and I saw an actor following up on you or mm. like trying to scare you and you didn't even notice yeah and that sucks yeah. that sucks because yeah. the whole point of this is to be scared right like that's why we're here um so anyway yeah trailers some good scares some good scenes but not enough of them not, and not enough change not enough change yeah um right that puts number two number two is dead beat the new one for 2024 um, because of the sets only because of the sets only interesting that's okay. the reason why i would go shout why you would do it from the yeah seat. A couple of reasons. Uh, apologies for planes. We are at Thorpe Park, which means Heathrow Airport is just there. Um, yeah, we'll be there tomorrow, by the way. We're uh, going to Japan, so stick around and subscribe for those videos. That's great. Um, yeah, Deadbeat. It, they tried to give you a story. They really did try to give you a story. Um, but it didn't really... I think we were lost on the story because yeah. it was like, oh, we've got this DJ that's invited you. DJ never appeared. I think what would have given it a bit more substance would be if they had like, the big the bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They had the big bad and ha 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 ha. Look, look what I did to you. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Right at the end, that you like I've entranced everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've trapped yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that they didn't have that, I think it just kind of like it, it was just missing something. Mm -hmm. It was missing something, but props to the scare actors they really did you know they were trying to they were trying really well they got me a few times i had a few good jump scares in there yeah uh, that's true actually it wasn't just the sets it was the actors becky they were really good becky had a couple of really good scares mm -hmm. straight off the bat as well um and i was hardly scared if if that's the way we're going with fright nights i think i would be happy yeah if they continue doing things like that because i suspect that now they've done that in that building they will use that one over again now yeah like same with trailers it's a permanent fixture probably. they've spent a lot of money doing it up and that will probably be the new trailers i think the, yeah. new, the new standard maze and they'll Absolutely. probably open it a few times a year like they do with um the, with, 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 with trailers, trailers yeah. yeah with trailers so yeah number two i enjoyed it but it's not obviously the top right so top obviously by this point we said it a few times just a second ago how much we loved it mm -hmm. stitches stitches was really good for being in a sprung tent yeah i would say guys like we said it at one point in the video try and wait till it's dark to do that otherwise yeah. you'll have light leak through the top and that will kind of ruin your experience slightly it was dark inside amazing part right at the end and obviously if, if you're epileptic you, you, you're screwed going through that mm. but they had massive strobe light in and it blinded me yeah me too right? you can't see i afterwards. had no yeah. idea where yeah. i was going and if somebody had now they didn't have anybody no, jumping they, out unfortunately i, I was really expecting right that. if they had somebody jumping out but we were at the back of the group so maybe they did at the start I w yeah true i would have been petrified if somebody yeah. had got me there um but the sets were great the costumes were great the story Great. It flowed. It was a, it was an you know informational bit at the beginning to tell you what was going to happen, and then you went through the different stages of, of being like staffed and then zone and then whatever. Yeah. And there were like the, the the stuffing room was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Because they had like a really good there are set the, piece in there. Without the, spoiling it. The difference between what they do here and what they do in Orlando, obviously, because they don't have as much money, is that. In Orlando, that would have been a person, and it was a mannequin. That would have been a person, or it would have actually been moving, yeah, yeah. spraying like water. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but 
really really thoroughly enjoyed yeah. it yeah if they bring that back again next year i will pay to go back for it again i loved it yeah I, re I really did loved it love it the sounds the the smells the actors were on point the costumes were on point the sets were fantastic motorbike going behind no. me ruins quad the scene bike. quad bike it was a quad bike anywho um yeah really good really good so that um is our experience for fright nights i do think they could do with extending it a little bit like we said um you know because it starts really early but then finishes early if you want to come after work you you've got like four yeah, hours yeah you can do it but it is a bit of a squidge you, you miss a lot you do miss yeah. a lot you're and running you obviously around. can't do any rides on as well yeah so but, i mean if you are coming for the ride and you're not that bothered about the mazes the ride the, the wait times are definitely worth it yeah for sure and especially if you're on your annual pass holder and you don't have to pay extra some of like you know going on stealth for instance in the dark would be fantastic going for, on for a five minute wait for a yeah. five minute wait you know fa yeah. absolutely fantastic so i recommend coming regardless of whether you want to do fright nights or not yeah and it's a good vibe like just like the scare zones and just yeah. like the general it feels like it's got more energy and they've got them. some special food i wouldn't say i think they need to do more i always I say the cocktail the cocktail was really the cocktail good. was really Would good strongly recommend but i think that was really the only halloween themed thing that we had yeah the rest of the stuff is just like the little stands and we're naming it something related to fright nights like yeah lucifer's fully yeah, yeah, loaded yeah, fries. yeah 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 it, Merlin, I think, as a whole, need to do a better job of themed food. Yeah. Um, Alton Tower's got the Nemesis, the Smiler, Donuts from Donut Time. They're cool. Yeah, um, that's Project D. Is Those it Project donuts. D? Sorry, yeah. not not Donut Time. Um, Donut Time's got the the rights here. Project D up at Alton Towers, yes. Um, but it was good. It was good. I enjoyed yeah. it. If I had to purchase a day ticket and the mazes. I think then I would have been disappointed. Yeah. As an annual pass holder, we are obviously quite fortunate to be annual pass holders, and Merlin does have a lot of annual pass holders. So. Although I guess I if think... you if you were paying for the whole day and the and the mazes, if you came for the whole day and then did the mazes in the evening, because you're also going to get the shorter wait times on the queues. Then yeah. You, arguably, it would be worth it. It would be worth it. Yeah. So there yeah. are caveats to it. Yeah. Cool. Enjoyed it. Um, would recommend doing it yeah um if you want to see what it what universal's halloween horror nights looks like by comparison i do have a guide up for that uh and i'll put a link down in the description um i've got a lot of videos on the channel I've got a lot of stuff from orlando we're doing an orlando series this is going to drop just straight slap bang in the middle um and as i said we're off to uh japan to be filming a lot of videos in japan guys if you want to come along to like less than 12 hours. <laughs> yeah if you want to come along with us to uh, to Japan, travel all over the country, Disney, Universal, Kyoto, Hiroshima, all of these places. Do stick around. Please hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Uh, and hit the subscribe and bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. We'll see, see you on, on the other, other side. side. Thanks. Thanks.